Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. Today, as promised, we're looking at the Intel Pentium G3258 Anniversary Edition processor overclocked to 4.2 and 4.5 GHz. In case you didn't know yet, the Pentium G3258 has a fully unlocked multiplier and therefore overclocking is as easy as with an i5-4690K or i7-4790K for example. If you haven't watched my main review on this processor yet, please do so. It'll probably help you understand certain aspects of the CPU a little better. Alright, getting the G3258 to 4.2 GHz was dead easy. I just increased the voltage a little and that's all. For 4.2 GHz I needed 1.272 volts measured in CPU-Z. For 4.5 GHz I needed a little more and I'm speaking of 1.336 volts. Good, now that you know how much voltage I applied, let's jump right into the benchmarks and see how much more performance we can squeeze out of this chip. The Intel Pentium G3258 costs only 70 to 75 US dollars, yet you can squeeze out quite a lot of performance out of this cheap CPU. In synthetic benchmarks, there are huge performance increases actually once you overclock to 4.2 GHz. 4.5 GHz doesn't really make that big of a jump here anymore. When it comes to video rendering, for example, you'll definitely notice a big performance improvement. But probably one of the most important things you expect from a CPU at this price point is the frame rate in games. I've tested with an NVIDIA GTX 780 graphics card and most games indeed did benefit from the overclocks. In some games the 4.5 GHz overclock led to a bit of a weaker performance than 4.2 GHz but overall there's a drastic improvement in most games I'd say. However, in certain games such as Crisis 3 for example, you need 4 real cores in order to make the game run completely smooth. And by that I really mean physical cores. Crisis 3 pretty much is a less than 4 cores detector. No matter which GPU you pair the CPU up with, the frame rate stays fairly low on maxed out settings. A great example is AMD's A107850K. Yes, apparently it's a quad core, yet it pretty much shows the same performance drop as we see on the Intel i3 and Pentium processors. I guess you now get my point. But yeah, overall this Pentium G3258 is begging you to overclock it and I can clearly say it's a great processor once it's overclocked. 
You could also go higher, but I've already done a video on a 4.7GHz overclock with the CPU, so I decided to show you something new, and that is 4.2 and 4.5GHz. The temperatures are no problem at all as you saw in the charts, and same goes for the power consumption. Of course it increases a little bit, but it's still completely fine. Yeah, all good now in terms of performance, but what about the motherboard? For this review I've used the Intel flagship chipset model Z97. Intel says it's the only official overclocking chipset, however there are certain workarounds from motherboard manufacturers so you could overclock on cheaper chipset models as well, but I wouldn't really trust these. In the end you could have just wasted money on the wrong motherboard. Overclocking chipset motherboards however aren't as expensive as they used to be a couple years ago. So you definitely also have to factor in the additional motherboard cost if you wish to overclock this Pentium G3258. And yeah, this pretty much wraps this review up. I'd definitely recommend to overclock the Intel Pentium G3258 processor to at least 4.2 GHz. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube. Also say no to ad blockers in order to support me and to make future videos possible. Thank you.